Okay. So, it has been quite a hectic week, and you probably know that I promise a, a consistent schedule of everyday streaming, five days a week, Monday through Friday. It shouldn't be that hard to do something like that, but I made that promise, and I, I failed to keep it, and I want to take this time to acknowledge that, and also to apologize for anybody that I may have disappointed. I really didn't mean for that to happen. I, I really wanted to start streaming more consistently. I wanted to make more content, and I feel like I failed you, and I that I should have done better. But there are two really big reasons why my consistency hasn't been the way that I planned for it to be, and that, well, first of all, I've been under a lot of stress. There's been a lot going on in my personal life. Some things have been resolved, some things have been fixed, and others, well, not so much. I'm still working on it, I'm under a lot of stress. And it's really, it's, it, it just bums me out, and it puts me in a position where I can't really be motivated to do anything. Even to the point where getting out of bed every morning can be a little bit of a chore. I, I have to force myself to do it because I know it's something that I gotta do. And I get ready to stream, and I sit there, and I'm like, okay, I'm ready to go live, let's do this! And then all of a sudden, the urge and the motivation is just gone, and I don't know what to do. So I wind up sitting there staring at my computer screen thinking, what is life? Why am I here? Do I even matter to anybody? What is my purpose? What What's going on? So yeah, long story short, those are the two things that have really been keeping me from doing what I want to do consistently is stress because life and a huge lack in motivation and a lack in motivation that I really want to get back. And I have been trying so hard to get it back, but for some reason I just can't do it. But that doesn't mean I'm not gonna stop trying. And that doesn't mean that progress hasn't been made. I have been going to therapy and just talking about everything, revealing to my therapist what's been going on, and she has been an amazing help. Every week a friend of mine hang out. I go to his house or he comes to my house, and we just we're, we just sit there, we sit alone, and we talk. And I think you know who you are, man, and if you're watching this, I, 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 I want to thank you. Because without you being able to talk to and just vent out to and listening to your advice, my therapist alone wouldn't be able to help me. You, you are one of the bigger helps in my life. You are one of the top people that really get me going and help me out in my life, and I cannot thank you enough for that, man. I appreciate you. So those have been going on. I also had a doctor's appointment a few days ago, and when the doctor was asking the basic questions about me, you know, do I do drugs, have I ever felt depressed, and when I said yes to that... <laughs> he went into a little bit more detail. And basically, to cut a long story short, I knew I've been depressed, I knew I've been sad, but I actually do have a case of clinical depression. And let me tell you, man, that news to hear was a huge blow in the gut. So I was prescribed with some antidepressants that I have to take once every day, uh, the doctor said it was basically Zoloft, and being a huge Ween fan, the moment I heard Zoloft, the first thing that came to mind was... It's a really good song, brah. So yeah, I've got people to actually talk to and release all of my stress and all of my secrets to, and it's, it's just been an amazing help. Of course, the doctor did tell me that the antidepressants aren't really going to kick in for a few weeks to maybe a few months, so... Whether or not those really have any effect on me, it really, I really just have to wait and see. I also discovered a little cartoon, and the last thing that I expected was to kind of relate to a TV show for adults. That show is called BoJack Horseman. Now, I shrugged off watching the show for a very, very long time, because I just looked at it and kind of assumed that, well, this is going to be a very stupid show, but I actually decided to give it a try. I booted up Netflix, watched a few episodes, and holy crap, I actually shed some freaking tears. That show is so relatable, and Bojack's problems are actually things that I know. I know his pain. Now, of course, I'm not a narcissistic alcoholic, but I think you know what I mean. It's the loneliness and the sadness that he feels. I can relate to that, and the, the show even manages to make jokes about it that not only get a laugh out of me, but also get me thinking, yes, this is true. I, I feel feel this every day of my life. Sometimes they are quick little jokes that deal with the subject, and sometimes they actually are very real moments, in both of which 
a lot of the times I, I can relate to. So I basically managed to find comfort in this TV show, which I really never expected to happen, but you know what? It works, I watch it every night, and it really puts my mind at ease before I go to sleep. I have been, I've been crying myself to sleep a lot less often, not just because of the show, but because of the other things that have been going on and all the, and all the help that I've been getting. And of course, guys, I really can't take all of the credit for actually going out and getting all the help I need myself. I needed quite a bit of motivation and pep talk to be able to do that, to be able to go out and get help. And it was actually this community. A lot of people in this community have sent me emails, personal messages, and even Jason Paradise himself telling me, yo, don't give up, talk to somebody, go get yourself some help, we are here for you, and I can't thank you guys enough. Every time I get these messages, I get a little bit gooey inside, and, and at times I look back at these messages and shed a few tears, but not out of sadness, but out of joy and comfort and knowing that there are people out there, lots and lots of people out there who actually care, who want to see me in a better place and in a better state of mind that I currently am. And I really cannot thank you all enough for everything, all the support. It really helps, a lot more so than you might think. Now looping back around to the, to the, to the topic of a schedule and consistent streaming and uploads, I really don't know what to do. I, at this point, I'm basically asking for advice here. I want to make a schedule. But I think the reason that I'm having problems being motivated to do that is because I'm trying to push myself way too hard. I don't know about you, but at least to me, trying to stream and trying to make content every single day for hours on end while suffering a mental condition like this is not very easy and it's not very good for your health mentally. Which I think might be one of the reasons why I've consistently lost motivation. I don't know, it's just, it's a guess of mine. What do you guys think? I really want to upload videos and stream more consistently and on a regular schedule. But I really don't know how to do that. I, and I really don't know where to start. One of the things that I've been considering was getting a whiteboard or just writing down a schedule. And starting out very slow, you know, like spend one day a week to stream and then spend another day of the same week to make a video or something. And... You know, a video and a stream every week, I, I I might do that. I'm thinking about doing that, and then as as time goes on and I'm more and more used to it, adding a day in the week. I don't know if it'll work, but it's definitely something that I want to try. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any advice on this kind of burnout and lack of motivation, please, I would love to know. And once again, everybody, I really do want to apologize for, you know, the broken promise of everyday streaming. I really do feel horrible. I, I really do feel bad. And I really wish that there was a way that I could make it up to you guys. So that was a quick update. Just a few things that were on my mind. I really appreciate you all listening. I really appreciate you all being here. Just thank you all. And don't forget to stay awesome everybody and I will see you guys next time. This is Bandypat signing off.